I appreciate you joining. I hope that you are doing well. Aster, surprising medicinal uses of this common garden flower. Very few people know about this common garden flower's medicinal uses. Often referred to as It Brings the Fall by Native Americans, Aster has mostly disappeared from use by herbalists of this century, though it is slowly making a comeback. Aster is a species of flowering herb in the same subfamily as Calendula. They are native to Eurasia, however today they can be found in almost every garden. Aster has been used as a remedy for cold and cough, regulating the menstrual cycle, sinus pain, hay fever, asthma, and headaches. In traditional Chinese medicine, the dried root of the aster plant has been used to treat diseases including lung-related coughing and throat impediment. Aster has been used for at least 2,000 years in traditional Chinese medicine. The root is a stimulant expectorant herb for the bronchial system, helping to clear infections. It is antibacterial, antifungal, antitussive, expectorant, and stimulant. It has antibacterial action, inhibiting the growth of multiple forms of bacteria. The root is taken internally in the treatment of chronic bronchitis and tuberculosis and is often used raw with honey in order to increase the expectorant effect. The root is harvested in autumn and can be dried for later use. The plant contains a compound which has shown anti-cancer activity and was used as a folk cure for cancer. In a recent study, researchers tried to measure the efficacy of its anti-cancer properties, specifically on human oral squamous cell carcinoma, SCC, which is said to be the sixth most malignant cancer in the world. To conduct this study, they acquired aster root extract through a process called maceration and kept the dried root in powdered form with ethanol for 72 hours. After that, the ethanol was evaporated from the extract at a low temperature via a rota vapor apparatus. After measuring the effect of aster root extract on cell morphology of SCC cells, they found that it was able to cause the cells to shrink in size. The effect was also found to be dose dependent, meaning that the more aster root extract administered, the greater the effect on the SCC cells. Roughly, this means that aster root extract is clearly effective in the treatment of malignant lip and mouth cancers and could be used in alternative forms of treatment or therapy in patients. As the paper on the study specifies, treatment with aster root extract can significantly decrease cloning ability of the SCC cells in a dose-dependent manner. A tincture of aster flowers and leaves works best for medicinal use. Please follow the instructions on your screen for this. Aster can be grown with success in most gardens from hardness zones 3 to 8. Aster flowers and leaves are edible, but they taste bitter. People have used them in salads, soups, and sandwiches. The Native American people harvested wild aster for a multitude of uses. The roots of the plant were used in soups, and young leaves were cooked lightly and used as greens. Not only is the aster flower a beautiful addition to your garden, but in the fall it can also be harvested for its medicinal benefits. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.